Welcome to For the Love of Books, a podcast by North Lancashire Libraries. Hi everyone, welcome back to the North Lancashire Libraries podcast For the Love of Books. My name is Chris Wilson, the eServices Librarian, and for today's episode, I wanted to give you a little bit of a talk through about our online catalogue because there's lots and lots of features on it that you may not have realised are there and I thought we would kind of go through a few bits and bobs on there to kind of like let you know a little bit of some of the the hidden secrets that you can find on there that you maybe haven't discovered yet. So we've had this version of our online catalogue for just over a year now probably and it's, it's a very, and there's lots and lots of stuff to discover on it. And it lets you do lots of things like find out information about the library service, uh, you can find out books, reserve stuff, um, and um, all that kind of thing. And there's also lots of other bits and bobs here. There's things like you can become a little bit almost almost like a bit of a book blogger in a way in terms of being able to write reviews and rate books and stuff like that as well. So we'll have a little bit of we'll a deep dive into some of the features and talk over it. Now, the first thing you might probably need to know is how to find it. And there's a link on the Culture NL website. If you go there, you'll find um, the online catalogue on there. Or there's also, if you go to libraries.nl.spidus.co.uk, you'll find it as well. And you'll come to the home screen. And on the home screen, you'll find um, our logo at the top. And there's kind of lots of different sections. There's a menu across the top. And the menu has got um, home, what's on, events, our libraries, follow us, or print, print, printer IDs, collections, and help. And at the far end, you've got register and online as well. Now, it's important to know that if you've already got a library card, you don't have to register again um, for this. Register on there is for anyone who doesn't have a library card. They can sign up online to get a kind of online membership. But if you've got a full membership already and you use the library a lot, all you need is your password, which you can get by using the, if you don't already know it, you can use the forgot your password um, box on there if you've got an email address on your library card account. If you haven't, you can ask for the password the next time you're in the one of our libraries. Now let's have a look at some of the things on that menu um, on there to kind of have a wee get, you know, get, get a little bit more information about some of the stuff. So, um, What's On takes you back to the Culture Nail website and to the What's On page um, in, our, in our kind of website already to kind of highlight all the sort of big main events and stuff, stuff like that are happening. Events is stays on the online catalogue and shows you all the various different sessions that are happening for all the kind of set, for all the events. So if you want to find out where that when the next Cumbernauld Library book bug is for, example, is, for example, you can go to the event sections and search for Cumbernauld Library book bug and you'll find all the kind of various sessions, the sessions coming up in the next 28 days in there for you to have a look at. And that's also where you would go to find out if there's any kind of like special events. We've got a featured section in there that'll kind of highlight any big events, for example, at the moment, We've got the three big author events, which is happening at Mother Library just now. Um, the, the Julie Kennedy uh, uh, visit, and also Louise Welsh, and also Damien Barr. So that's uh, the kind of the, you'll see those in the featured section of our um, event section. Our libraries um, will, has a kind of a few tick throughs to take you back to the Culture Channel website again to show you all the kind of various libraries or mobile libraries or home delivery service and follow us is obviously just where you can find all the links to all our main social media accounts as well um where you can kind of come and follow us on the various ones whichever one it is you use most and find out all your library news straight into your inbox um or your social media inbox now, Prince printer IDs is a fairly new thing. Um, if you haven't heard about Prince, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, Prince is a new printing solution that the library service uses, and it allows you to print either in the library or at, from home. Um, if you are printing from home, you can go to the Prince website, um, select the document you want to print, and, and send it along. And you select the printer, the printer you want to send it to, and you need the ID for that. So that's where the drop down for this comes in. So on here, if you click on the print, printer IDs drop down, you'll see all the libraries listed, 
and it'll give you the ID for that for their printer and you can kind of select that printer to kind of send your document along to and, and, and you can do that and the, the great thing about it is it allows you to pay for your prints online which is fantastic um, you can pay for it from home using um, all kind of usual big methods of payment such as um, all kind of obviously bank payments or Google Pay, Apple Pay, all that kind of stuff and um, it's really really convenient and then you just come on to the library um, there's there'll be a tablet in the library where you can kind of go to put your code in that, that it gives you and that then releases your print from their printer so that's a really useful kind of drop down if you're trying to kind of find out where you can send your print to um, and there's also a wee box at the bottom for more about print as well to give you a bit more details about it and how it works and stuff like that so you can check that out. Collections is where we ha can build um, sort of lists of particular books that we you might we think you might be interested in um, and we're, we're kind of slowly but surely building up some collections for the year. We had the Black History Month one for example and we had one for last last year's Summer Reading Challenge as well which is on there. So it's, it's that kind of where to go and then there's they've got the help section which kind of gives you various different ways of finding help and stuff like that. If we go back to the main home screen there is lots of boxes that appear further down um, and usually the some of the, one, the main ones can stay the same. There's a, a new additions tab box that will kind of show all the latest books that we've added to stock. And further down the page you'll find the popular titles and recent returns. So recent returns is pretty self-explanatory. It's the, the books that have just been returned by you, the readers, um, and they'll appear in that box. Popular titles are ones that obviously are going out quite a lot and they'll feature in there so you'll kind of find out kind of maybe you might kind of see one that you might think oh I've not heard of that one but it's obviously quite popular you can kind of pop that on your reading list or kind of pick it up next time you're in one of our libraries and kind of see see why it's popular at the moment so that's always a good thing. Also on, and amongst all that you tend to kind of find out a little bit more information about you can also kind of listen to the podcast on there there's a little box with the podcast displaying and that updates with all the new episodes that are coming out uh, that have came out and you can listen to them directly on the online catalog there's also usually a little kind of promo box that we have that kind of highlights a particular event that we want to kind of make sure that everybody knows about for example at the moment it's highlighting the louise welsh event which is happening next monday on monday the 27 22nd of april at seven o'clock at mother Road. so you can kind of see that and click through and book your ticket for louise welsh on there as well um there's also a little borrow box promotion box as well which highlights our new always available titles for the month um, and that will kind of click through to the board box website as well for you to kind of find out a little bit more about them as well and we kind of highlight that every month to kind of show you the new always available titles and the always available titles are as as it kind of says on the tin they are books that are available for everyone that month so there's no waiting list for them you can always make sure you can get a, a copy of those and we tend to use those for in particular we pick one of those for our facebook book group which you can um join on facebook if you want to kind of join an online book group um it's a suggested read for, for that and you can kind of can talk read it and kind of tell us what you thought about it at the end of the month as well so that's the kind of main parts of uh, the sort of online front page you'll see things in on here as well about um all the various online services and stuff like that we have such as the such as borrow box or if you're learning to drive we've also, also got a link, link through to the test pro which you can use for, with your library membership and there's also Go Citizen if you are looking to do your citizenship test as well. That can you can get access to that. If you're in one of our libraries, you you can also get access to Ancestry, and there's a link in the library online section there for to get through to the Ancestry Institution website where you can kind of get access to to Ancestry for free. But it only works while you're in one of the libraries, so you do need to do that from one of our computers in the library. Um, and so there's lots and lots of stuff on that front page that's really really useful. Now one of the things that I wanted to tell you a little bit more about as well was about the review feature which I think is really really cool. Now once you're logged in 
um, which you log in using your library card number and your password, you can leave a review for a book that you've read. So you can go to the book, if you search for the book, and you um, you then can either give it a rating or you can also, uh, or and or, I suppose I should say, um, you can leave a little bit of a review of it as well. So once you find the book that you want to leave a review of, there is there's a box at near the bottom um, or after you kind of see all the information about the book you scroll down and there will be a bit that says reviews um, and it'll show you any reviews that are have already been left by our customers um, on there but there's also an add a review button and you can click that and it gives you the option then to give it a rating and also leave a comment which is kind of your review and that will kind of sit in there until um, one of the staff um, okay it and then it'll appear for other people to see as well and that's really really handy it gives the opportunity for you guys to kind of help other people select books and stuff like that so because uh, the the rating will appear on the the listing and show what other people think of it and things like that so it is very handy if you guys want to kind of get a little bit interactive with the books that you've read you can leave a little bit of a review and a rating on there as well which i think is really really nice and it, it will be something that will be kind of useful for other people as well because they'll get to see what you can do and things like that as well. One of the other things that you, obviously you can do all the other usual stuff such as um, you can renew and uh, reserve books and things like that on there too um, and that's really useful as well. One of the fantastic things about this new online catalogue is that you can actually find you can find all of our borrow box titles on here and you can also actually loan them directly from here as well so if you happen to be scrolling through and you see a, 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 a book listed and uh, on there but you didn't realize it was on our borrow box service already and you, you haven't seen it in the app yet you can actually just loan it directly from here and then the next time you go to your app it will be sitting in your loans and they are free to download and access which is fantastic it's a that is a, a new addition with this new online catalog that we now have um our old online catalog didn't have that that facility but this new one does and i think that's a really really good little addition it's a it's a great feature and i really like that one um and i'm not biased just because i'm the e-services librarian <laughs> also when you go to your dashboard you will find out all the information that's going on about your account on there as well. Um, lots of little, on the your account dashboard, lots of things will appear depending on what's happening with your account at the moment. For example, if I log in, I can see that I've got borrow box loans on there, um, and I can kind of access them and have a wee look at what I've got. Um, you'll also see in there if you have any children linked to your account. If you have, if they have got titles out at the moment, they will appear there as well, and you can renew the, those loans from there too. It won't always show if they don't have any loans out just now. So if you think that you've got kids linked and they can't see them, it may just be that they don't have any loans at the moment. But when they do, it should appear and it should allow you to manage those loans from your account, which is really really handy. And also on there, if you sign up to any events um on our online catalogue which you can do if for if we've got any kind of special events such as the louise welsh event for example if you register you'll be able to find your ticket on there too and you can also manage your 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 booking there as well if you, if you can't make it for for example you can cancel it from there too and you can and things like that so it's it's really really handy to be able to kind of access that and see that and the other thing that, that we'll be doing in the summer, once um, myself and some of the staff also get it organised, is you'll be able to sign up and take part in the Adult Reading Challenge, The Great Bookish Menu. So we're kind of working on that to kind of get that together for the summer. And you'll be able to kind of take part in that and, and track your progress and stuff like that. And, that. and that'll all appear in the dashboard once you've, got, you've, once you've signed up and taken part and the reading challenge. The reading challenge will be just very similar to what it was before. If you haven't taken part in the Great Bookish Menu before, 
there'll be a, a few kind of genres for, to pick from, and you have to your challenge is to pick a book from that genre, um, and and read it, and to and to try and challenge your reading a bit throughout the summer, and see how you get on with doing that. So it's a it's a great way to inspire you to kind of read. Um, something a little bit outside your comfort zone. So that is something that's coming soon. We, ha- we have kind of spoke about that a lot, but in some of the previous podcasts, just hinted at it a little bit, but it is still coming and we are still working on it and it will come in the summer months for you guys to kind of track your, your reading over some interesting genres that we kind of put together for the Great Bookish Menu. So do watch out for that too. You can also create reading lists on here and that's one thing that's maybe a little bit kind of not a hundred percent clear on it, but you can do it by going into one of the books, um, and there'll be a box near the kind of right hand side of the screen if you're looking at it on a desktop, and I'll say find it, um, and I'll tell you how many copies we've got, of where it's available, and you can place reservation and things like that. There's a little kind of um, bookmark like tab, um, in that find it box, and if you click on that it will save it to your current save list, which again, you can access th- th- via your dashboard. There'll be a, a, a menu link on your My Account, on your dashboard for saved lists. And you can kind of see all your saved lists here. There will be a default one, but you can also create different ones. And um, you can, can save it to that as well. And you can then kind of get, sort of, maybe if you kind of read not too fast, like myself, and but you keep seeing books that you really, really want to read. You can place them on your to your kind of to read list or your, your saved list, and to remind you about it a little bit in case you forget about the title and stuff. So that's a great way of keeping track of books that you might not have quite round to reading just yet, um, and things like that. Or you could also use it, and I suppose in a way to try and remember what you have read too. You could uh, you kind of. You could make a, a list of books you've read, so you can kind of add it to that list and kind of keep track of your your reading progress that way as well. So there's lots of different ways you could use the reading list, um, your save list, and to kind of keep track of what your your reading habits, I suppose, a little bit too, which is very interesting. Um, you can also the there is the chance on the online catalog to kind of keep a few little bit of details up to date for us. For example, um, you can update your phone number and your email address once you're logged in as well um, to kind of make sure that you can, you're can you always getting your information up to date. Um, and you can also change your password and stuff like that in there too, which is quite handy as well. If you want to kind of keep your account nice and secure and change your password regularly, you can do that in there as well. It's really, really handy. There is a section in, in on the online catalog as well that I think is very, very interesting, and it's the history tab on your My Account. And that takes you to a, a section where you can see literally everything to do with your account that's happened in the past. For example, I can look at it and I can see loans that I've, that I've taken out, downloaded, download loans, um, so the kind of things that, that I've can taken from Borrowbox and reservations, even event registrations that I've done in the past as well, so you can kind of check back to see where was it I went to see at my little library um, back in August last year, you can have a look back and kind of check your event registrations there. And it also shows you if you do have a child and have them linked, it will show your family account history on there too, so that's really handy to see that too. Um, so I mean that's that kind of lets you kind of keep track of how, what's been happening with your account, what you've taken out, when you returned it, all that sort of stuff, and it's that's a kind of nice uh, little feature on there, and you'll see you can get lots of details and kind of go and check the title about, see what it was about and things like that and everything in there. So again, that's another way of kind of keeping track of what you might be read in the past. Um, although I suppose maybe potentially you could take something out and not read it, so that's maybe where the, the saved list could come in a little bit in, in terms of a, a difference, in terms of you might kind of keep track of what you've actually read in case you didn't read one that you took out already. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting little feature as well, and I like the fact that it does show more than just actually what you've taken out, it does show you things like your reservations you've put in, um, event registrations and stuff and also like I say some kids stuff and things like that as well so that's all very interesting stuff that you can find out on there 
But I think definitely one of the, the, the big features that we'd really like to highlight to you guys is the event section, because that is um, a really interesting place for to find out what's happening in our libraries at the moment. And you can look at that, and it should display pretty much everything that's happening across all our libraries in the next 28 days. And there's lots of different ways how to search for things in the event section. There is a big search events button wherever you come in. You can search for a particular name of event, so you can search for book bug, or you can search for a particular library. So if you're maybe looking for something that can do it library, you can put that in and it'll find anything that's happening in the next 28 days. Or there's things like there's a browse feature at the side where you can kind of look for locations or categories audiences or a particular month um that will probably tend to only really show like the current kind of like current month or maybe the start of the next following month because we do limit it to the next 28 days in terms of the events that are showing um or there's also some quick links to show all all events or events on today or events on tomorrow next seven days or this month so there's loads and loads of ways how to find out what's happening in the event and if an event does have um, a registration requirement you can go on and book an event online which is which is really really good as well so you can kind of you don't have to do the old-fashioned way of kind of popping out the library tell them you want to come along anymore if uh, we do have registration available online you can register for the event on there and come along and um, not all of our events require registration that way but but it is handy for for the bigger events such as the, the Louise Welsh event that's coming up and you can come along to that but I think that's, that's definitely worth having a look, guys. I think, hopefully, you found this a, a really interesting little talk through of our online catalogue and you'll enjoy having a wee kind of look through if you haven't visited it already. Um, do have a look and leave some reviews as well. It's always kind of good to kind of have reviews on there to let our customers um, have a wee kind of idea of what other people have thought of some of the books that you, you might have read in the past um, as well. Um, it's, it's, so it's a very useful um, place to come along and visit and of course watch out for exciting events in the event section as well and sign up for any that might catch your eye. Um, on that front we do have um, Obviously, I've mentioned the Louise Welsh event a little bit, and we talked about that in the po- last podcast that I did as well. Um, there are still spaces for that coming up on Monday the 22nd. And we do have, probably maybe while you listen to this, the, the Julie Kennedy event happening at Mother Library, because it is on Thursday when this podcast comes out. And the other big event is Damien Bar. Now, Damien Bar is, unfortunately, already sold out. It has been massively popular. There is already 75 places booked for that. There are um, a small number of waiting list places for that, so you could put your name down on the waiting list um, for it. And if anyone cancels a ticket, you may luckily get a a last-minute spot. But um, so it might be worth kind of putting your name down for that if you fancy coming down. Um, you might still get a chance to come along if you haven't already managed to be one of the lucky 75 people who have already put their name down to come along. Um, it's bound to be a fantastic night at Mother Library. So, but there are lots of fun stuff coming up in the future, so do watch out for other things to kind of say that for. And on the podcast front, we do have a, a wee bit of an exciting thing to announce that we have got a new feature coming with the podcast um as you know we have got kind of the, the sort of the the basic podcast episodes um that, that i do myself um and we also have the bees books editions that jenny and Pally do which are fantastic well we have another kind of not as regular as those ones kind of be, they're not going to be kind of more but about, about roughly about a month or so and they'll be coming out roughly on I think we're going to be putting them out on Saturdays and the first one will be coming out this Saturday um, and you can watch out for that and it's going to be um, called, kind of titled That Didn't Happen in the Book and it's going to be um, one of our staff and a local author talking about books that have been made into movies, the differences that happen in them and all that kind of stuff and and so that's bound to be a really interesting listen as well so do watch out for those coming out on the podcast as well and catch those and especially if you do kind of love books that have been made into movies and the differences and all that sort of stuff and talking about the differences and stuff 
it's going to be a fantastic listen. So watch out for the first episode of that part of the podcast coming out on Saturday as well. But that's all for me for now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed listening. And do check out the online catalogue and find out a little bit more about it. But that's all for me for now, guys. Watch out for the next episode of Bees Books next Thursday and also our new feature coming out on Saturday.